finally escaped. Today I was attacked by a massive amount of zombies. Now that I've reached this seemingly safe village, things should be fine. Oh, I hear something. What? The zombies are here too? I have no choice. I have to use my sword to defeat them. Take this! No one can keep up with my speed. No way. They keep coming endlessly. I can't defeat them all like this. Not much I can do. For now, I have to retreat. Where can I escape? This village is quite impressive, but is there a place I can enter? Hmm? What's this secure looking door? Can it be opened? It's open. Oh. Zombies are already here. How can I hide and take a breath? Oh, there's another door. What would happen if I open it? What? What is this place? And there's someone over there. Hey, you! Use the weapons behind you. Weapons behind me? Right, these. It's amazing. My powerful weapons are lined up. Well, for now, let's use this and this. Um. Oh no. Zombies are here already. I'll use this gravity sword to fight them. Wow. Amazing. The enemy flew up into the sky. And this netherite bow can shoot huge arrows endlessly. Can I really shoot these big arrows endlessly? If that's the case, I could take care of this zombies group all at once. Strike! Now then, this time, switch to the gravity sword and send the enemy into the sky. Then, there. Use the bow and arrow of the netherite to shoot through. This combo is quite powerful. All right, this is the last one. The last zombie disappeared to the beyond of the sky. Nope, it came back. If you thought Sorry Sensei was cool, please subscribe and give a thumbs up on the channel. Hey, are you okay? You saved me. Thank you. Yeah! By the way, why is this place under attack? In this village, once a year, a large number of mutant monsters come and attack. What? What should we do about those mutant monsters? If I can develop the rainbow sword I'm working on now, I can wipe out those mutant monsters. However, to create the rainbow sword, I need two enchanted golden apples and two nether stars. I see. That means all I have to do is go and get you those items, right? That's right. I'm counting on you, but there are still enemies outside. Just help yourself with any of the weapons in the back. Really? I can use all the weapons? Well then, taking you up on your offer, this weapon and this one also. It'll be interesting to see what kind of effect does this one with a question mark have. <laughs> I guess I'll find out. That should be fun. All right, I'll go out to save this village. Now, shall I test these new weapons? Well, the goal is to obtain two gold enchantment apples and... Oh, wait a second. I think I just saw some mutant zombies. Taking down those guys seem quite tough. But this time, I have the strongest weapon, so let's see. Well then, first off, let's use the sword and try to take him down. Can I do it? Let's find out. Yeah. The damage is quite significant, but were there really this many of them? Well, there are too many. This sword alone won't be enough. I think it's time for this one now. How about that? Awesome, I can use magic? And it seems like that the type of magic changes, but I'll quickly switch back to the sword and the damage I receive will quickly heal. I know. How about I chip away at the opponent's stamina with this wand, and in the end, I'll strike them down with the sword. If that combo works, I can defeat mutant zombies in no time. Looks like the temperature of those mutant zombies goes up and down. Now, take this one, strike! Randomly casting magic again and again, but actually, it's becoming a bit difficult to fight, so in that case, when it becomes like this, use it again at close range, and then, one last time. Yes! Defeated all the mutant zombies! Come to think of it, what kind of effect does this question mark one have? Oh, wait. This is a lucky block, isn't it? When you hit it, random items come out. 
I wonder what'll come out. Isn't this a golden shaman apple? I just opened several of these and I've already got two golden shaman apples. Awesome! Seems like I can create these as much as I want. Hey, I've collected the golden shaman apples. So now, can you go and get two nether stars for me? Sure! By the way, Wither is in the ninja tower. All right, let's defeat the Wither and go get yeah. the nether stars. I might take different weapons this time. All right, I got the new weapons with me. Let's go defeat the Wither. Wait a minute. Wow, 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 seriously? There are a lot of creepers near the bridge. And they're all mutant ones, too. There's so many of them. If I get gotten even in one explosion, I might die, don't you think? Don't you think? Well, if possible, I want to defeat them safely. All right, first, using the gravity sword, let's make the opponent float up and see what happens. Can I defeat them with one strike? If I can, that would be great. With the gravity sword, I can easily defeat the creepers. So let's go, strike! All right, all right. Since there's no ceiling, it'll go way up. Again, there are creepers over there. There are a lot of them. If they start crossing the bridge this way, it can get a bit tricky. Okay, maybe. I'll get these ones near me with the gravity sword. Then, using the fire sword, I can. Oh, yeah, amazing! It exploded like crazy! With this, I've destroyed the bridge. So the mutant creepers can't cross anymore. It's no good if they can't cross. But I do want to go to the other side. So, next, this mountain sword. Let's use this. It'll create platforms like the mountain. Ah, it's amazing! This is also useful. Feels like I'm creating mountains forever and fly in the sky. Okay, okay, okay! Yeah! Now, let's go over this mountain and head to the ninja tower. That's where I'm headed to. The guy said the wither's in the ninja tower. Cool, just keep doing this and I'll be able to make my way over to the tower. Do I have the new weapons with me? Now then, what's this? Yeah, I found a funny looking building. There might be something inside, so I'll take a look just in case. I hope there are no enemies or anything. There's an extremely high-tech machine here. What happens if I click on it? Oh, it lets you go to the ninja tower. Let's go to the ninja tower. Ah, so this is the ninja tower. There's the wither right in front of me. The wither's quite strong. I'll have no chance without armor. Now, I'm gonna need some lucky blocks. Using this wand, I can make lucky blocks appear. All right, let's go. Let's do this. From these blocks, strong equipment can't come out, so let's open them relentlessly. Oh, no. Like what just happened, enemies will also appear, so be careful there. Okay, I've gathered multiple sets of diamond and netherite equipment, so good. I've got the perfect armor. Cool. Now I'm gonna fight the Wither. I have the new cheat weapons with me this time, so I'm gonna use it during the fight. Hmm? Is this the rocket sword? It's amazing. I can fly in the air like a rocket with this. And this explosion bit, this does about 50 damage. So if you use this sword, no need to worry about the Wither. Approach the Wither and then... The thing about the Wither is, the closer you get, the higher it keeps going up. But I have this rocket sword, so... Okay, good, 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 good. Still, I managed to defeat the first wither. Also, there are some explosions, so I'll wait and see here. Oh, if you get caught in the explosion, you'll take a lot of damage. All right, let's go collect another star. Is it here? It's here, right? Or has it disappeared due to an explosion? No, oh, there it is. Okay, okay. Let's defeat the second wither to get the other nether star. Should be nearby, but where is it? There he is. Using the rocket sword is fine, but next, I might switch to the fire sword. This sword is so powerful. It's amazing, but I haven't landed a hit yet. Well, I landed a hit, but it's dangerous. My helmet got broken by my own flames. Well, the sword is too dangerous, but it doesn't seem to create much damage. But once again, with this cheat weapon, this one here, it creates lightning, which can attack a whole area. However, it doesn't seem to be particularly effective against the Wither. Let's fight it using the rocket once again. Yeah, this is the way to go. This is a bit too powerful, huh? It's really the best weapon against the Wither. What? But 
Have I defeated it already? Haven't I? No, I haven't defeated it. Sorry. All right, just two more. Ah, my armor got broken. But I succeeded in defeating the wither. Great job. Now, let's collect another star and... Okay. As the guy has mentioned, with all the items in hand, you can make the rainbow sword. So let's return yeah. for now. All right. We've defeated two withers, and then we'll head back to the guy of the village. All I need to do is just get back there. Didn't be too difficult at all. Oh, I see. The other side of the bridge. There are tons of mutant creepers there, right? But no need to worry. By using this rocket sword, I can get past it from the sky without any problems. Also, what's this? Why are there so many mutant monsters? This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Isn't this a bit too much? Wait a moment. Could this be the mutant monster attack the guy was talking about? Jeez, see how many there are. This is really bad. Probably around two to 300 of them. Hey, I'm back. I got the two nether stars you requested. Thanks for bringing these back. Well then, without delay, please make the rainbow sword. Make the rainbow sword? I see, so I can just make it myself, right? Um, how do I make it? Well, for now, set up a crafting table. And then use three swords, the enchanted golden apples I got earlier, and two nether stars along with a diamond infused with redstone. Strike! The rainbow sword! Wow, this is amazing! Looks extremely cool! Alright, let's use this rainbow sword and defeat the mutant monster! Okay, we made it this far, they should be right there! Alright, now that we've arrived, let's assess the power of the rainbow sword! But, are they here? Oh, they're here, they're here, they're here! There's so many of them! This time, with the rainbow sword, the ultimate sword in hand, Let's see what this sword can do. With every strike, the space I aim at explodes. And it's in rainbow colors. It's super powerful. This is awesome. Super powerful. All right, let's strike. Okay. Already powerful with the strike of the sword itself, and it even causes explosions? Using the explosions from the rainbow sword to sweep away the mutant monsters. Oh, it's powerful. Normal attacks are also already powerful. Now, let's swing it around. With this, let's take down what may be the mutant creepers and whatever else is here. I'll deal with them all at once. If you swing too much, you get quite dizzy, so be careful. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. All right, with consistent attacks, someday we might be able to wipe out the mutant monsters. All right. So it took some time, but I managed to defeat all the mutant monsters. And that's it for this time. 